hello viewers so today we will discuss an important uh, conceptual problem in integration that is integration of greatest integer function so here we have to uh, integrate or to find the value of this definite integral uh, from 0 to 1.6 and greatest integer function x square right so let us denote this integral by i right so here uh, this uh, uh, denotes uh, this symbol denotes the greatest integer function right so uh, let us start so here uh, we are given uh, the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1.6 so here we have to uh, integrate this function uh, in the interval uh, 0 to uh, 1.6 right so it means x belongs to uh, this interval uh, that is 0 to 1.6 so obviously x square so here we have x square so when x belongs to this uh, interval then x square belongs to uh, 0 and uh, 2.56 right because the square of 0 is 0 and the square of 1.6 is uh, 2.56 right we can also write uh, this interval as 0 and uh, 1.6 uh, can be written as 8 over 5 and here uh, we can also write 0 and uh, this is 64 over 25 right okay now our aim is to uh, express uh, this function as a piecewise function right so let uh, fx uh, denotes uh, this function uh, that is greatest integer function x square now uh, here uh, we will express uh, this uh, greatest integer function uh, in terms of uh, intervals now here we have seen that x square belongs to uh, the interval 0 to 2.56 and uh, let us uh, express uh, this interval on the number line so here we have 0 and uh, between 0 and 2.56 uh, we have the integers uh, 1 uh, 1 and 2 right and uh, 2.56 uh, it lies uh, somewhere here right so here we'll have 2.56 so here we have represented this interval uh, for x square right so uh, between 0 and 2.56 uh, we have uh, the integers uh, 1 and 2 right now uh, let us uh, express this function f of x equal to greatest integer function x square as a piecewise function so we are, here we have seen that uh, x square belongs to this interval from uh, 0 to 2.56 and uh, between 0 and 2.56 we have uh, two integers right 1 and 2 clear so now let us uh, split uh, this uh, function into uh, some intervals and uh, the first interval uh, will be from 0 to 1 right and the second interval will be from uh, 1 to 2 and third interval is from uh, 2 to 2.56 right so it means the first interval uh, is from uh, 0 to 1 then we'll have 1 to 2 and then will have 2 to 2.56 right so here we'll write x square because uh, this is the uh, representation for x square so when x square lies between 0 and 1 it means we have to write x square greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1 uh, in the second interval we have uh, x square is greater than or equal to 1 uh, but less than 2 and in the third uh, interval we have uh, x square greater than or equal to 2 but less than 2.56 right okay so now uh, we have uh, uh, 
represented uh, this function greatest integer function in terms of uh, three intervals so here we have zero so this is uh, zero and then we have 2.56 so here we have 2.56 so 2.56 can be uh, can be written as 64 over 25 so now uh, here we have seen that x square is greater than uh, or equal to 0 but less than 1 so the value of this greatest integer function x square is 0 right so here uh, we have for this interval that is when x square lies between 0 and 1 and then the value of uh, greatest integer function x square is 0 similarly here uh, when x square lies between 1 and 2 then the value of uh, greatest integer function x square is 1 and when x square lies between 2 and uh, 2.56 then the value of greatest integer function x square is 2 right so uh, here uh, the values of uh, x square uh, this greatest integer function x square is 0 when x square lies between 0 and 1 right when x square lies between 1 and 2 then the value of uh, this function is uh, 1 and when x square lies between 2 and 2.56 then the value of uh, greatest integer function x square is 2 right so the value of this function is 0, 1 and 2 when x square uh, lies between 0 and 1, 1 and 2 and 2 and 2.56. So uh, now uh, this function fx can also be written as, so here uh, we can rewrite this uh, uh, whole expression as uh, 0, 1 and 2, right? And uh, here we have x square so taking square root throughout so we have 0 is less than or equal to x and uh, less than 1 right and similarly here uh, if we take the square root then we have 1 less than or equal to x but less than square root of 2 and similarly here we have uh, to take the square root so we have here square root of 2 and here we have x and here we have the square root of 2.56 and the square root of 2.56 can be written as 8 over 5 right so here we have 0 and here we have 8 by 5 so here we have 0 and here we have 1.6 which is equal to 8 over 5 right so this function is now expressed in the form of uh, uh, three intervals right from 0 to 8 by 5 we have uh, uh, we have uh, splitted this interval from 0 to 8 by 5 uh, as 0 to 1 then we have uh, 1 to root 2 so here we'll have a square root of 2 and then from square root of 2 to 8 by 5. So we'll have 0 to 1, then 1 to root 2, then root 2 to 8 by 5. So now this integral i uh, can be uh, written as the sum of three integrals. How? So we'll write from 0 to 1. Then here we'll have the greatest integer function x square dx then we'll have 1 uh, 2 square root of 2 and here we'll have uh, greatest integer function x square dx and then we'll have the integral from square root of 2 to 8 by 5 and here we'll have uh, greatest integer function x square dx right so this integral i uh, is now expressed as a sum of uh, three integrals now when x lies uh, between 0 to 1 that is 0 to 1 the value of 
f of x is 0 and f of x is greatest integer function x square so here we'll have 0 right and uh, when x lies uh, between 1 and square root of 2 then the value of uh, this function is 1 so here we'll write 1 and when x lies between square root of 2 and 8 by 5 then the value of uh, this function is 2 so here we'll write 2 clear so now <clears throat> i can be written as uh, 0 to 1 and here we have 0 dx and then we have uh, 1 to square root of 2 and here we have 1 uh, 1 dx and then we'll have uh, the integral from square root of 2 to 8 by 5 and here we'll have 2 dx right now the value of this integral is 0 and the value of this integral is uh, x uh, 1 dx is x and uh, the limits are from 1 to root 2 and uh, here we'll have uh, 2 dx so this is 2x and the limits are from square root of 2 to 8 by 5. Now uh, here we'll uh, have uh, x and from the limits are from 1 to root 2 so we'll have root 2 minus 1 and here we'll have 2 and then we have the limits from square root of 2 to 8 by 5 so here we have 8 by 5 minus root 2 right so now uh, this is square root of 2 minus 1 and here we have 16 over 5 2 8 is 16 over 5 minus 2 root 2 and uh, uh, simplifying this expression minus 1 plus 16 over 5 is 11 over 5 and root 2 minus 2 root 2 is root 2 right so this is the value of uh, this integral